Advanced Ads now integrates with any certified consent management platform like Quantcast, CookieBot, Compliance or Google Funding Choices. In this video, we'll be using Quantcast. Let me show you how to create ads with TCF 2.0 in mind and how the Advanced Ads Pro version differs from the basic plan. Generally speaking, our goal is to keep ads from loading before the visitor gives consent or to not even load them at all if the user declines with the pop-up. To enable the privacy module, head into the settings menu of the Advanced Ads plugin. You can find the relevant setting in the Privacy tab. Remember to check the TCF 2.0 box. Once activated, let's create an ad to see how it works. We'll go for an image ad first. Create the ad as usual and check it out on the page. As you can see, the TCF 2.0 banner pops up as soon as you load the website. This image ad will appear even if the visitor disagrees with the consent form, meaning that it will be displayed anytime someone visits your page. This happens because image ads don't send any data and thus need no consent. Now let's do this once more with a code ad, like one containing an HTML string. Set up the ad, choose a placement and head to the front end. This particular ad will only appear when the visitor agrees with the form. And right now, the difference between Advanced Ads Pro and Basic comes into play. If you use Advanced Ads Pro on your website, the HTML ad will be displayed right after the user accepts the consent form. If you use the Basic version of Advanced Ads, the visitor sees the ad once they reload the page. Also, if your ad code does not contain any third-party tracking like our example here, then you can exclude it from needing consent and show it right away. And that's it. This is our TCF 2.0 integration for advanced ads. Do you have any questions or concerns? Leave a comment right below and we'll help you out. Advanced ads. The ad management plugin for WordPress.